Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here at the IBC 2019 in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, at the RF Design Booth. With us is uh, Oliver Vogel, he's the uh, Senior Sales uh, Director for uh, RF Design. And Oliver, it's been a while since we've done this uh, video cast. Yeah, it's been a while, but pleasure to have you here again this year at IBC 2019. It's great. Um, to be here at the show, actually, and we got a lot of news to, take to tell. All oh, right, right. So give us an update. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since we spoke. So where is RF You're Design right. right now? Well, we're right now at the path where we actually wanted to be, but we still have a lot of challenges to to, uh, to achieve. Um, the, the first thing is we actually last year celebrated our 20th anniversary, and so that we are on the market since 1998 now. Um, over the years, we, we're growing tremendously, and. Um, Happy to working in a sophisticated industry, and you have um, new facilities, right? We also got new facilities. Yeah, we have we have just fi finalized our, our construction in Lodz, Germany, uh, mm -hmm. beginning of the year, and a lot of moving of employees, material, manufacturing facilities, manufacturing um, machines, and things like that went to new facilities. Um, besides that, also in combination of that, we also got new stuff in the engineering in the R and D. Uh, some new engineers um, supporting our R&D director for a lot of new products we're gonna we're gonna um, have pretty soon on the market. One of it is, for example, the new K4 L band 32 by 32 matrix, which is already extending um, um, supporting extended L band and not only the usual A band. Right. So also uh, finished ready for HDS and uh, K band applications. Right. Um, in combination with that is also our new 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. S9E system, mm -hmm. where we actually it's actually a su uh, successor of the of the former S70B 16 by 16, where we downsize it a bit to make it more price attractive for the market because mm -hmm. the market is also certainly also asking for more attractive prices. Right. The performance is even better, mm -hmm. and um, the only difference is a bit of a mechanic. So we got the outputs in the front and the, the yeah. inputs in the rear, and for that we got a cable tray right here. And so this is actually a very unique design, right? It's very it innovative. Is, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. this hole in particular is an innovative uh, feature. Of it. It's it's kind of innovative. What what we wanted to do, as I told you, we wanted to downsize the metric mm -hmm. so to be more competitive when it comes to price. We want to be below 10, 10 k euro mm -hmm. for the list pricing on that, and we achieved that. Mm -hmm. The only thing we, we were forced to do is to put the outputs in front mm -hmm. and the inputs on the rear. But for that, we have that loop right. that loop hole here for the cables, which makes it easy to loop through the cables from the back to the front. It's not a big disadvantage for the operator. The advantage really is that it's very compact. A lot of integrated features like gain control, LMD supply, slope, uh, 10 megahertz reference feed is included. Uh, the performance even gets better than the, than the successor unit, the S7D. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty sure to have, we already have a demand for that unit and already sold 10 of these units during the show here at the IBC. Right, right. Now this also uses less, less rack space, right? Yes, it's only yeah. it's only one year rack space mm -hmm. in the deal. Yeah. Right. And That's like right. you said, less than 10k euro. Yes. Right. Less than 10k euro list pricing. Okay. Anything else you're highlighting here at the show? Well, we also got our, our Q-Link RFO fiber system. We have seen a lot of tremendous um, growing demand for RFO fiber systems. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a lot of RFO fiber system, systems in the Middle East, for example, in Saudi, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia with uh, Saudi Telecom, mm -hmm. uh, Arabsat and other customers um, like Talia or Ryzensat all over the globe. We, we do have new deployments in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, in China for RFO fiber. A lot of them also asking for redundancy mm -hmm. and for that uh, specific specific requirements. We also have one plus one redundant system. We got M plus one and M plus two redundant system. Mm -hmm. And with the new fueling system, which is here right over there on our, on our booth, yeah. the fueling actually is a, is, a, is a new RFO fiber system for a very attractive price, but also the performance is very well. It allows to transmit up to four um, L band links over fiber directly from the antenna to the knock or to the head end. And it's ready for downlink and uplink. So it's a complete scalable, flexible system. For example, you can you can um, populate it with two transmitters and two receivers. So mm -hmm. two links transmit, two links receive for up and downlink. Right, right. So uh, moving forward, uh, Oliver, you know your company is now 21 years old. Yes, and, uh, you've got we're a whole slew, year. slew of products. So. We're very, we're very happy. We're a small company, but we are very, we we. We are focusing a niche in the satellite market. We focus on ground stations, the cellular operators, the teleports, a little bit of a broadcasters as well as cable operators. Mm -hmm. We do have very strong um, partners all over the world, like Korea, Saudi Arabia, US, mm -hmm. Latin America, also within Europe. 
um, mostly selling via them to the end users and with the support and help of these partners of these uh, distributor system integrators we were able to grow specifically in the US as well as in Asia. Right. Well, thank you very much, Oliver. That was really pleasure, good. Yes. As always, yes. Thank you so much. And for all the news and information in the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com.